let's look at the deep learning lifecycle and kind of break this down, uh, how this analogy applies each step of the way. So the first step is accumulating the data, um, accumulating it, uh, cleaning it, et cetera. So how does this apply? So the bottom line is that your data is just a, a special kind of code. Uh, and what I mean by that is that you want to apply the same set of best practices that you do to code as you do to data. Uh, one of those is versioning. Um, how do you version data? Well, uh, it's, it's a little tricky. Uh, if you're lucky enough to use data that's immutable for an immutable store with copy on write or append only uh, kind of semantics, then you're fortunately much better positioned than uh, versioning more mutable stores like uh, traditional databases. But, uh, and this is still uh, somewhat of a black art, um, but uh, it, it's, it's very uh, critical in order to track your models uh, in terms of uh, where the model came from, which data it, it originated from in the training process. Another um, kind of lens we can use is uh, in the same sense that we don't want to have multiple different um, you know, uh, libraries when you can avoid it, or multiple different programming languages uh, in the same stack. You also want to avoid data silos. Uh, now, these aren't uh, avoidable in all cases, because you know, time series databases are necessary for certain volumes and types of time series data. Uh, likewise for um, you know, genetic data or other kinds. But in general, the, the, the more you can avoid data silos, the better you're going to be off. And uh, when you can't avoid them, then you build abstraction layers on top of them. And those abstraction layers can be very valuable as a place for inserting the uh, kinds of um, metadata that's useful for uh, the, the model provenance and lineage that I was talking about. And I'll talk about it in a little bit. Uh, in addition, there's uh, the concept of unit data tests. Uh, so in addition to the test data set, uh, you can construct unit data sets that test particular aspects of the model that you're training. And metadata is data too. Uh, in the same way that you wouldn't uh, take a script in Python and then say, oh, this, this script is special. I'm going to store it on my hard drive and not check it into version control. You wouldn't do the same for data either. Uh, all data should be tracked and, and monitored in the same way, uh, same as code. Uh, 